So love, honor, and appreciate who you are for what you are. No matter your color, your size, it doesn't matter. Love yourself. For years, I never did. Enough was never enough. I had to do more. But I finally said, you know what? Relax, slow down, and love the people around you for who they are. We're all, like I said, we're all in the people business. Number two, do something on a daily basis that scares the hell out of you. <laughs> because if you do that, one thing, pick one thing a day that you don't want to do, a conversation with an employee or a phone call. If you do one thing a day, I guarantee you, you will be better the following day. I call it money in the bank. Number three, get comfortable with being uncomfortable in everything that you do. Do I like getting up at three o'clock in the morning on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to run Camelback Mountain here in Phoenix? 1.2 miles up, 1,264 feet, absolutely not. But I do it, you know why I do it? And sometimes I carry a rock up with me. You know why I do that? Because I don't want to. If you do something on a daily basis, it will make you stronger. Number four, take ownership in everything. I wanted control of everything in the past. You can ask my wife, but I wanted not to take ownership of anything. I always pointed the finger at everybody else. And I am a firm believer that it is not what happens to you, it's what happens because of you, 100%. And that quote is not for me, that's from Grant Cardone. I love yeah. Grant Cardone. Last thing I want to leave with you before I'm done. I have a client that I built a very big home for out in Verado, Dermot Carey. Sixty years old great guy. We developed an incredible relationship with, with his family and our family. Dermot and Ursula and me and my wife. We go to dinner once a month. <clears throat> he woke up in the middle of the night. He had uh, a headache so bad that he was crying. They took him to the hospital. They had to drain his head. Long story short, he's been in ICU for 98 days as of today. And I am an optimist. And I, I, we gotta, I gotta take you up on that. We're, I, that spurred some thought with me about CBD. We gotta get it into him yeah. as fast as we can. Um, he, it, his, his future is bleak. It, it doesn't look very good. And I'm, like I said, I'm an optimist. And you can't tell me I can't do something. I'm an individual saying, well, we're going to make him work. We're going to get him back. It, he, he's pretty bad. And the reason why I tell you that is the worst word in the English dictionary is tomorrow. The worst word. We keep saying, you know what, I'll get to that tomorrow. You know what, I'll get my license, my, my skydiving license tomorrow. I'll jump out of that plane tomorrow. I'll make that phone call tomorrow. I'll go climb the mountain or I'll get myself in shape. I'll start eating right tomorrow. We don't know if tomorrow's gonna be here. Every day you have to live like there's no tomorrow. So the last thing I want to tell you is three very simple things. Number one, live out loud. I don't care what people think about me because it doesn't matter. I care what I think about me because I love, honor, and appreciate who I am and I know what I can offer this world just like you beautiful people. What you're doing right now is you're helping people. You're not... You're not making, you are making money, but you're helping people. We're all in the people business. I commend you for what you do. And I see, I've, I'm a statistic. It fixed my ripped calf in three weeks. 
the doctor looked at me, my, my, my doctor looked at me on Wednesday after my MRI and said, well, well how did this happen? It went away. CBD. Jeff Lassard, he's going to take your job now. <laughs> I don't want a job. <laughs> Second thing is love. Drop the wall. I had a wall for years. Nobody could penetrate it. I was very tough to live with because I kind of lived the way my dad taught me how to live. Being the, being the, the great, you know, being the tough guy. Love, drop your wall. When was the last time, when was the last time that you looked at your wife or you looked at your husband like you did when you first met them? Love. And the last thing I want to leave with you is leave a legacy. It's not about getting, it's about giving. I'm a firm believer. My business model is we don't work to make money, we work to make a difference. Yeah, we work to make money, but we work to make a difference. And it's all about people. I, I feel that if you focus on giving instead of taking and instead of getting, it will pay dividends. Money and success is the byproduct of hard work and giving. Thank you very much.